to kind of give us or the audience one to three of your key takeaways. So if they were to leave the event, um, focus on uh, you know retaining the, the most important points. And we often use these uh, key takeaways for our podcasts and blogs and things of that sort. So can we start with Catherine and then we'll uh, uh, go to the other speakers and then we'll conclude. Sure. Um, this is Catherine. Um, I, I would say key takeaway uh, overall is just to um, make sure that if you're in a, a situation where you, you've got to uh, calculate damages uh, after uh, an infringement action, that you're looking at, you know, all the relevant case law, um, you're looking at the entire market value rule and the um, uh, analyses and uh, indicators that the courts are looking for uh, to make sure that you have the um, the right uh, viewpoints on your your economic indicators as you're as you're trying to establish uh, either the entire market value rule or uh, if you're if you need to go to the apportionment phase of the analysis to to just make sure that you um, you understand uh, these cases and what they're saying from the especially from the Court of Appeals from the Federal Circuit. Thanks, Catherine. This is Dan. Uh, I guess in my section, the key, key takeaway, I think at a high level, is that, you know, obviously courts are very increasingly focused on apportionment issues when evaluating patent damages. So um, as I hopefully made clear, you know, there's many different methodologies that could be available to a damages expert in terms of apportioning damages down to the appropriate level. But uh, before deciding on the best approach, uh, the expert and counsel should sort of work closely early on in the case to review and discuss, you know, what documents are available in the record and what types of documents and data the expert might need in order to pursue any given approach. So well, after they're armed with that information, then they're going to be prepared to utilize the approach that best fits the facts of the case. So it's important to know that there are more than one, there's typically more than one conceptually sound method for apportionment, but all methods are not necessarily appropriate in every case. So again, um, you know, it really depends on the facts of the case and the documents and data available to the expert. And this is Andrew, and, and so I would say with the entire market value rule, uh, takeaways there are, you know, it's, it's understanding the consumer demand for the, uh, the product. Um, it is understanding the court cases and what the court cases have found as it relates to patent infringement and the entire market value rule. And then it's, you know, it's, it's stepping back after you go through and um, quantify the economic damages to step back and ask, does this make sense? Is, is it making sense giving the, given the patented and the unpatented features of the product? 